Ephesians chapter 1 verses 17 to 23. God seated Jesus at his right hand in the heavens. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may, may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named not only in this age but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet, and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. Saint Paul wrote the letter to the Ephesians to encourage them and plain the character and purpose of the church, which is also known, as the body of Christ. This letter was written around 60 AD, about 30 years after the death and resurrection of Christ. Saint Paul wrote the letter while he was imprisoned in Rome where he would eventually be taken outside the city gates and beheaded. Remember Paul was awaiting a death sentence, but he still found time to encourage others while overlooking his own pending death. Christ is our model of faith and the more we know about him the stronger we become in faith, and we begin to change our lives to closely match his behavior. This was the object of Paul's prayer that the Ephesians would come to know Christ and become stronger by living by the commandments. We are the body of Christ, the members of his church, and Christ is the head of the body the church. A reading of the book of Revelation shows the final victory and control of everything belongs to God. Christ has and will continue to fill the church with blessings and grace. Church is not just a place, it's a body whose life-giving blood came from Jesus Christ.